This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're gonna talk about something a little different. Uh, I know I've done videos on bed bug bites before, but I wanna go over times that you think you're getting bit by bed bugs, but you're not. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. So I get this a lot. I get a lot, I mean, more than I could count, of uh, people telling me things like, I had bed bugs a couple of years ago, and now I have them again. I can't find any bugs, but I can tell the bites are bed bug bites. They've looked everywhere. They've looked up, down, left, right. They've looked under their beds. They've looked under their mattress. They've looked under their box springs. They've looked up you know everywhere they found bed bugs in the past they can't find any signs of bed bugs they can't find blood spots they can't find casings they can't find bugs and yet they're getting bit and they're positive that it's bed bugs doing the biting and i'm here to tell you it's not bed bugs i know that i'm gonna get a lot of people yelling at me saying things like you don't know what I'm going through you have no idea it's absolutely bed bugs I know what bed bugs feel like this is what they do to me I know but you don't I want to tell you that you don't know you don't know if it's bed bugs or not and I'm gonna explain I'm gonna explain myself and I'm hopefully gonna set your mind at ease because truthfully do you want bed bugs in your house of course you don't want bed bugs in your house and I'm telling you you don't have bed bugs I'm giving you good news so I want to get that out there right now before you just immediately assume that I'm trying to say you're crazy or whatever because nobody believes me nobody believes me I can't find bed bugs but that doesn't mean I don't have them and everybody says I'm crazy because that's this this is this is exactly the way the conversation goes every time I try to point out to somebody that they don't have something they're sure they have, okay? So, let's go over the times you get bit and it's not bed bugs. Even though it looks like bed bugs, it's not. So, one, bed bugs bite usually in three or four bites in a triangle or a line or whatever. So, people will tell you to look for bites of threes and fours. And this is how you could tell you're getting bit by bed bugs because what happens when a bed bug bites you is it starts to get full of blood and then it gets kind of lazy and lethargic and it falls off but it's not full yet and so it goes bites you again and then it gets lazy and it falls off and then it bites you again and so this is why you get the three four bites in a row or the cluster of bites from just one single bed bug this is why they bite you that way because they don't get everything they need in one bite okay but there are other bugs that do the same thing now they don't fall off but they bite you multiple times over and over and over again or you have more bugs biting you so if it's the summertime and you're laying in the bed and you get bit three four five times on your arm it's not always bed bugs sometimes it's a mosquito mosquitoes will get in they will get under the sheets and they will bite you three or four times in a row because they're under the sheets they can't get out for whatever reason and so they bite you multiple times this is a really common thing with mosquitoes happens to me happens to my children whenever you know springtime early early summer when the weather is really nice and you open your windows at night or maybe you maybe you were doing dinner and let the heat out of the house you opened the back door and the mosquitoes flew in now they're in the house now they just bite you when you're asleep this is really really common i've had people positive 
that they had bed bugs. And when I got to the house, I found out, well, right outside their bedroom window, there's a tree there and there's mosquitoes roosting in the tree. And you treat the tree and you kill the mosquitoes and all of a sudden their bed, bu their bed bug bites stop. It wasn't bed bugs at all. It was mosquitoes. They were sure it was bed bugs, but it was mosquitoes. So, that, I mean, and, and to look at their bites and to look at Google images, you would think that what they got bit with was absolutely bed bugs because the bites show up in the same pattern, but it just, it just lucked up that way that that's how the bites looked. But it wasn't bed bugs. It was mosquitoes. Another thing people will get, I had another customer call me, positive she had bed bugs. She's had bed bugs in the past. She knows what bed bug bites look like. Positive she has bed bugs. Can't find a bed bug. I went to her house, I inspected. Couldn't find a bed bug. Couldn't find any droppings, any markings, anything at all in the sheets, anything in the covers at all. But she had the bites. You know, you look at her, she, people show you the bites. You're an exterminator, people go show you their bites. They pull down their sock and they got all these bites on their ankles and their feet. They got bites on their legs. And I asked her, I said, well, do you have fleas? Do you have pets? No, no pets, no fleas. So she didn't have fleas. What's biting her? Well, after talking with her for a little while, come to find out she likes to garden. She likes to work out in the brush. She likes to clear stuff. She likes to get out there and plant vegetables and stuff in her garden. And about maybe a month ago or so, she was out working in the garden, clearing a new spot to plant stuff. And she got into what I believe was a mess of chiggers. So chiggers are a little teeny tiny mite that will get on you and bite you. And they bite you usually in groups of threes and fours and clusters of bites, just like bed bugs. But they weren't bed bugs. They were chiggers. So what chiggers do is they can actually live on the human host for a, a, new, a number of days. And in that number of days, they're biting you. And so every day you wake up, you might have an, another bite because that's how chiggers are. You'll get two or three bites several days in a row. You're positive it's bed bugs, but it's not. It's actually chiggers. And the way you can get rid of chiggers is you can actually treat the area that you got infested from. If you go out and you're treating your yard, you treat your yard, the areas that are prone to chiggers, under bushes, a brush, uh, you know, tall grass, stuff like that. Trim your yard, get your grass nice and short, and then go through and treat your yard with a chemical application, granules, and a spray application, and you'll get rid of your chiggers. Chiggers are actually very easy to get rid of in your yard if you, you know, narrow down that that's what it is, it's biting you. So in her case, she was absolutely positive that she had bed bugs, but it wasn't bed bugs. It was chiggers. So those all those usually go undetected all the time. People don't even think about chiggers. When I was a kid, a little young, running around outside, playing with my brother and sisters, it was really common for us as kids to get into a mess of chiggers. We were constantly in and out of the gardens. We were running all around the backyard, getting into tall brush and tall grass and stuff all the time, and constantly bringing chiggers in on our body. In fact, back when I was a kid, bed bugs weren't really an issue. If you had bug bites all over your body, you assumed you got into chiggers. That was just the top thing with living in the country and playing with your siblings. It was like the number one thing we thought of was, oh no, I got into a mess of chiggers. Another thing, so this is another story about a customer who was positive they had bed bugs, but it wasn't bed bugs. They had clusters of bites all around their arms and their legs in the same places that you would typically be exposed when you're asleep and places that you would get bed bug bites went to their house. They have had bed bugs before. You know, they were positive this is what it was. Got to the house and they showed me, they actually showed me pictures that they had from years prior where they had evidence of bed bug bites, where they had had another exterminator come in and treat for bed bugs. So they knew, they knew what the bites looked like. They showed me their bites and they did look similar. I looked, spent an hour and a half looking over the house, taking all the furniture apart, trying to find the bed bugs, didn't find bed bugs. Come to find out, days later, the man actually had gone to the doctor 
and they said he was having an allergic reaction to poison ivy. So this is another one of those stories. The guy was out working in the field, tending his garden, got into a mess of poison ivy, did, had never had a reaction to it before, but apparently he's allergic now, but at least enough for these little bumps to show up all over his legs and all over his arms as if he had gotten into a mess of bed bugs. But it wasn't bed bugs. It was a poison ivy outbreak. So this is something that wasn't even bug related, and, and yet he had bites, so-called bites, all over himself where he was positive it was bed bugs. But it did. His, the way he reacts personally looks just like bed bug bites when he reacts to poison ivy. It's just the same exact histamine reaction that he gets from bed bug bites. It's kind of crazy how people are like that. Um, and so with my final story, I'm going to go over a couple of other things. Now, I have been bitten before. I went into a house years ago and uh, me and my daughter actually it was one of the first jobs i took my daughter on she's really young she insisted on going she wanted to go i told her she didn't need to go she wanted to go anyway i told her emma this is gonna be a bad job i know the lady who called us and this is gonna be a really bad job are you sure you want to go she's like yes i want to go with my daddy i want to go with my daddy so we went to this house and <clears throat> we got out next day had bites all over our ankles, all over our legs, all over our arms. It was a severe, severe infestation of fleas. So we had gotten into a mess of fleas because that's, that's what I do for a living. You know, people call me and they say, hey, I've got fleas all over the house. When can you get out here and treat my house for fleas? The woman knew she had fleas. She didn't think she had bed bugs. But what I did was I took pictures of both my bites and my daughter's bites because I said I am going to fool some people. So I took pictures of my quote unquote bed bug bites. Didn't say they were bed bugs. I never said they were bed bugs. I was trying to see how many people would assume it was bed bugs. And so I posted them on social media on exterminating forums with other exterminators. And I said, I have these pictures of bug bites. What is biting this person? And now it was me, <laughs> and it was fleas. I already knew it was fleas. I was in the house. I, I was picking them off of me as they were jumping on and off of me. So it was fleas biting me. So I posted these pictures online, and a resounding amount of people, over 70% of the people who responded to my question swore up and down they were bed bug bites. I even got into an argument with one other professional exterminator that swore they were bed bug bites. He's been in the field for over 10 years. He's seen it all. He knows exactly what bed bug bites look like, and that is what I had. And finally, I had to tell him, look, I took this picture of my leg. This is a picture of my leg of flea bites. I was getting eaten with fleas. When I rolled my sock down, I pulled the feasting parasite off of my body myself. They are flea bites. So just because the whole point of this video is just because you have bug bites and you assume or they appear to be bed bug bites or what you perceive as a bed bug bite. If you haven't found bed bugs, if you haven't found casings, the, the shedding skins of bed bugs, if you haven't found blood spots, if you haven't found fecal matter in your sheets or on your bed or on your furniture, then never ever assume that it's bed bugs unless you have actually found a bed bug, an actual bug or a sign of a bug, and that, that goes with even blood spots and, and markings too because people will pick themselves at night in their sleep and bleed. People will have pimples pop at night in their sleep and they will bleed. So don't assume blood spots are bed bugs. I had a customer one time. They had blood spots all over the bed, but they were also on blood thinner and a diabetic. 
And a lot of times at night, their little sore, they had these little sores on their body would, would, would burst and they would have little blood spots on their pillow from what was coming out of them. You know, it wasn't a bug. It was just because they were sick. You know what I'm saying? And so don't assume blood spots either. Just if you can't find a bug, you can't find an actual bed bug, don't just right out assume that it's bed bugs biting you. It's probably not. More than likely, it is not bed bugs. So hopefully this video has set some minds at ease and explained that it's not always bed bugs biting you. Sometimes it's chiggers. Sometimes it's fleas. Sometimes it's spiders. Sometimes it's ants. Ants will bite you too. If you guys would like to know any more about bugs that bite you that aren't bed bugs, leave a comment below and we'll talk about it on my live stream every Thursday night after nine o'clock Eastern time. So you guys have a really great day. I appreciate it. And if you're interested in any more videos like this, I think I'll put one right here that I think you'll really enjoy and you'll get a lot of information out of and hopefully uh, explain on how to actually kill bed bugs. So you guys have a really great day. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Next, the next one, next one, next one.